This video is all about how you can revitalize your business if you're finding that things are starting to get a little bit stagnant. New orders, <laughs> final orders to go. This could be for brands that are in e-commerce that are at about 100K to 500K in revenue. We're gonna walk through two really important key concepts that will transform the way that you think about every decision that you make in the business. Also will be the key driver and turner to increasing your revenue and also increasing your profit. As a business owner, you have likely gotten your business from zero to one. What we find is that when businesses start to get a little bit of momentum, but then slow down, they enter into a concept called the valley of death. It sounds dramatic. However, there are two key pieces that are gonna pull us out of that valley of death and get us back on track to more momentum and killing it in our business. These are the two things you need to think about. Your customer acquisition costs, which is also shortened to CAC, and this is the cost to acquire your customer. The second concept that we're going to be talking about today, customer lifetime value, which is also shortened to CLTV. The game of business is how do we reduce our CAC, also increase our CLTV. Catch this, if your customer acquisition cost is less than the lifetime value of a customer, you should be spending on marketing. If your customer acquisition cost is more than the lifetime value of your customer, then that means you need to be looking at your product, your pricing, and your business model to really accommodate for this to change. Identify ways to how you can engage them to keep on coming back. I spoke about it in a previous video where I really speak about the customer experience. I'm gonna leave this video here so you can check it out. Number two is that you might not be having a reason for customers to be spending more with you. We get this all the time where we'll onboard a client and realize that the average order value of their product could be something like $20 or $25, $30. The problem with that is if we are to use different marketing activities such as paid advertising, Google search, influence marketing, the cost for that activity is going to almost break even if not also be an unprofitable activity. I encourage to incorporate things such as bundles when building out your product line. It is much easier to have one customer spend $100 than five customers spending $20 per transaction. Think about how you can actually change this in your business. Three, you may have figured out how to perfect one channel so far. You might be using Facebook and Instagram ads and you're thinking, wow, this has been pretty powerful and pretty cool for my business. I'm really happy, what's next? And the answer is more channels. It should be imperative for you to be testing other channels to determine the efficiency and the value of them as well. I recommend Google ads. If you're not doing that or if you're doing Google ads, then also do Facebook ads. Both of those have very sophisticated algorithms and are the most amazing and biggest platforms in the entire world. Just putting an entry level budget in, we've really surprised ourselves. Sometimes Pinterest just absolutely trumps on top and actually delivers really cheap cost per clicks. Also with TikTok, the CPMs are so cheap. So getting in front of a lot of people is like three, four times cheaper sometimes than other platforms. You can also get crazy results as well if you have a really good piece of creative that resonates well with that TikTok type of customer. If you are more of a service-based business and potentially you've only relied on referrals to date, I encourage you to start looking at an outreach strategy through DMs or cold outreach through LinkedIn or emails. The best way to foster more people through your funnel and to increase your pipeline is actually to speak to more people and actually have those engagements and put your brand out there. People won't know unless you're there. If you're not investing in marketing activities, then I recommend actually you going out and driving that pipeline through more of a sales-driven tactic instead. At the core of it, I really believe it's that we're not spending enough on marketing or it's the fact that we're not actually getting people to come back again and again and again so I come back to focusing on those two areas with every decision that you make with that I hope that you'll be on your way with a refined focus and also more momentum kicking in for your brand thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next video goodbye being able to tell the story of your business is more important than ever when you're starting to make a video a short form might get more views but the quality of a long form viewer is much higher